Namaste. I'm gonna show how I find typographical errors in Cologne's dictionaries. So I have a separate file where I put words which are wrong in the book or in the OCR. So here is a small list of words which are wrong in the book. Um, how do I find them? Um, I compare list of words. In our case, I propose that Monia Williams, as the oldest OCR of a dictionary, is the cleanest one. It's almost uh, it's, how many years is it's from ninety six. Um, it's quite some time around. And I can hope that it has a clean list of words. So in this case, I trust more Monier Williams than I trust everything else. So here is the source of the word. It's uh, the Big Petersburg Dictionary. It's uh, Wilson. All the possible sources on PVG on, on Cologne are mentioned here. So I compare and make notes. Like you can see, I look only for real difference, real spelling mistakes. I don't look at orthogra orthographical variants of the same word as you can see this I don't care right now you can understand that this is the same word written in two different ways in two different dictionaries quite a lot of many such cases but I'm looking only for real mistakes I'm not even sure that they are real but anyway they look more real so I check these words. So let me see um, who will be the next one. Okay, so this is something I would like to check. So what I can do, I can just take the word and And uh, so I'm documenting it. I'm making screenshots so to make sure that I'm not blind. Okay. So I cannot make a screenshot in a video recording, so I would take it from here, put it here. And uh, mark it as a typographical error. Okay, so there are a lot of errors in uh, title works. So when Berlin quotes a work, um, in many cases, there are errors in the book. So I must be cautious. So the whole list checked with fuzzy algorithm 
is 9,000 words so and then the smaller the word becomes uh, the bigger the possibility that is false positive anyway there are quite some long words which I want to consider so I start with the longest ones the biggest possibility of an error is there um, yeah, so let me look for another one okay why not this I can take the hard Kyoto word, put it into uh, what was there additional? Let me copy it. Uh, Does it come from? It comes from okay, so there. It should be here. Yes, it's here. Okay, I would make a screenshot at this place. Put, put it here. So it's uh, um, So it's not quick, but someone has to do it, or the books will always remain so. So it's not only OCR errors, it's book errors. So in my list of 270,000 words, there are quite a lot of book errors. I hope I can fix at least a few hundred of them. Not all of them, but a few hundred with the help of my Indian friends can be possible. Without them, never. So here are the candidates. Good candidates. Very good candidates. So in this case I don't care the difference there is no real difference. I mean I care because I would have two entries at the same word. I should not have, but uh, it's not that bad. The bad is here. So it doesn't matter for me if there is an ending and somewhere there is no ending. It's not what I'm looking right now for. This is fine. 
Charitra and Charita is important for me. So this is an additional ending. I don't care about that. Downward to just be more careful too. So, the dictionaries, the old and new ones, are with mistakes, and it's our duty to correct them because we use them on an everyday basis, and it's not fair to give, not to give back, only take. It's not fair. Anyway, there's a way to help. Fuzzy is one of the algorithms I use in finding mistakes. Sometimes reverse sorting helps. There is quite a lot of work to do. You can see there. You can see that there are quite some even short rewards with under question. And then there is uh, this send he issue. Uh, lots of questions. Okay. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.